I'm not used to being off on a Friday. So it kind of feels like a, like a Saturday right now. So like, you know, I'm going into a Sunday and then it's just like, dang, you know, the weekend's over, but right now it's only Friday night. I will say I'm not exactly in the best of moods. I posted a video earlier, but pretty much my dog Jupiter passed away yesterday and it, it just really sucks. I mean, some people may think of it as a dog or just a dog, but you know, he's family to me. Even though I haven't like really been there for the past four years, <coughs> you know, walking him and doing all that stuff. Pretty much, if you look at it, when I was, long story short, when I was there at the house, living there and whatnot, he was like kind of like my kid in a way, because all my time would, after work, would go to him. You know, I'd walk him, you know, play with him, do all that stuff for the whole time, pretty much almost the whole time that I'm home, you know. But I had to leave and couldn't take him with me and all that other stuff. It just sucks. You know, yeah, I do have him right there, Rocky, but... Nobody's going to replace Jupiter. Just like any other family member or pet that you have. But on a lighter note, it's actually not that bad of, even though it's been doom and gloom in the sense of like no sun out today, it's just been nothing but clouds. Still actually wasn't that bad out. That makes sense. Like, the weather, it's been in the 50s. So, if it was like, up here, get out of the, there. But it's been in the 50s today. High, mid 50s, not like lows. But, that was nice. You know, I still have a hoodie on. I've had it on all day. Because I, I don't like, I, I'm just too cold if I don't have a hoodie on and pants and all that stuff. But he, he's pulling me right now because he smells animals like cats and rabbits. So he's pulling me kind of hard. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to make the, my life a little bit better than it was yesterday, you know, and the day before and the day before, <laughs> doing all my best to live my life and be happy because that's all you should really do. I used to short to really dwell on the past. You should focus on your future for a small amount of time, but that's ever changing because you can only, how can I put this? Affect, but so much of your future because you can only affect what you do in your actions. You can't control everybody else and everything else. So. You know, I mean, I eventually want to, I have a lot of hopes and dreams in my life. <laughs> and, you know, I know I won't be able to possibly get all of those accomplished because of how life is. But I'll definitely be able to get a nice amount of those goals and dreams and aspirations that I have completed. Just like anybody else, that's one thing I've always believed is to work 
for the things that you want in life. Even though life may throw you a curveball and may not let you get to that spot right then and there. For instance, like if your dream is to own a home, not everybody in this world owns a home. You know, doesn't mean that you can't eventually own your own home. And it may be a bit discouraging when you see all your friends and people your age or a little bit older have in their home. But, I mean, if you really look at it, technically, the people that have these homes don't technically own them because the bank technically owns it. It's just like a car. If you don't outright buy it, you don't own it. So, if you pulled out a loan to get this car and this house, and you got, you know, just say a five-year loan on the car and then a 30-year loan on your house, you miss a couple payments and you can't make them, your house goes into foreclosure, so you lose that and then your car eventually is repoed, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I don't know how it is to get your house foreclosed, but I've had my car taken away. But that was because, uh, how can I put it? Pretty much it was a shit car. It was the Nissan Ultima that I had. And it was a really shitty car. Pretty much we got it from the dealership and alternator eventually went out long long story short eventually got it fixed and all that well eventually how can i put this i don't know it was probably two years ago i don't know a year and a half two years ago it went out like it broke down on me and whole bunch of misfires and all and pretty much the shop told us yeah we could fix the problems but the amount of money it'll take to fix everything it's pretty much not even worth what the car is worth like it, the repairs will be more than what the car is actually worth so pretty much i just said forget it and didn't pay for the car and they took the car you know eventually let's see what happened next oh yeah <clears throat> her parents helped us out getting the van so the van that we have now we got from help from her parents so i'm help grateful for that so that's paid off so we don't have to worry about no missing a car payment or nothing like that but don't get me wrong, it's nice to have a car that is newer. But at the same time, I don't want to have to deal with a car payment. It's just like a house. You know, I want to have money saved up to the point where I can do what I want with the land that I get, you know, I want to have my own RV, my own truck. I don't want to have to pay people every month for it. I want eventually want to just sit there and travel with it, you know? But like I said, those are just a couple of things that I want to do. Is it going to happen? Who knows? But I'm working towards it, you know? That's what, I, what everybody else should be doing.